It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between NFC West rivals. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. And it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Arizona Cardinals. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history, and a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. First play from scrimmage, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Now here's a throw that's complete, and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. To throw on second down is Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. down to the 10 and they will finally bring this run back to an end but not before he's down inside the five yard line at the four he had his eyes on the end zone he got close at least he set the offense up nicely but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt i agree with you and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone but if they don't score now if they don't get a touchdown he won't just get teased They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. 
Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. Now Murray throwing on second down. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Connor diving for the end zone and he is in. Touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams shedding the tackler and it gives him some room. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And Chris Barnes there on the stop. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Back to throw, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll leave them with a third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten on the counter here's Williams 
And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that is incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Greg George, deep for Arizona. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Murray. Finds his running back, James Conner. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Murray now to throw. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Murray now. Got his man. It's Dorch. His first catch. Good for nine in the first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Murray now on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they weren't playing. And he's going to go down again. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. 
And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it Punt's on the first better. drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 15. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Stafford. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Rock incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing is Stafford. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards that time for number 14. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 38 now, here's second and six. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. Now a second and six as they've got it as we resume action. Connor going to get it again on second down. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. L.A. set to take over again on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. 
They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On first and 10, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pickup there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Jalen Thompson. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Williams going to get it again on second down. And just shutting him off there. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball on the 40 now, here's second and a couple. They run it again with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Stafford on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down and three. Now it's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as the tackle is made right at the 25-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They go back to the ground with Williams. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now Stafford. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. 
fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now Stafford to the end zone, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. The kick by Marr is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And Greg Dortch now to return it. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Murray. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Byron Young, the one who got in and finished that play off. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Now that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. Back to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. But Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. 
five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the 50, Stafford. That is caught and brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup, 30 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. to seven. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Now Greg Dorch going to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Murray now on first down. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First down, Murray. That's caught. It's Chris Moore. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Murray. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Byron Young. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the card's going to call another timeout. They're second as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter.
So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, it's Murray. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This a 27-yard attempt here. Prater's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Greg Dortch returning. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Third quarter starts with a run from Connor. Shoves him aside. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 41, here's second down and two. Murray now to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Murray again. This is Connor. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. 
It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> yes, it, you do. It you makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing a Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Stafford now to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Here comes the Rams punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Here comes Dorch on the return. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Now Murray throwing on second down. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the tuck and run. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Throwing middle, and it's complete. 
They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray rolling to his left. And down inside the 15 he goes. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why not just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray, 14 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Prater for the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Five plays there on that drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. Then it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down. Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. He shows you right there. He can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play... How about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Just a gain of a couple there. And third and eight now. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll see about converting this third and eight. 
Now Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 42. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Back to throw. Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. To throw is Stafford. He's got his man, it's Nakua. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 18. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! 2-2 two -two Atwell. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Mar now to add the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. And the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Murray now. That pass completed to Dorch. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets.
from the gun and give to Connor. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. There's the stiff arm. Fights through, and now a crease. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Murray now on first down. Wilson's got it complete. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that <laughs> one or what? <laughs> they would gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Play action. Now it's Murray. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Cardinals answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, Who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Extra point good by Prater, and they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped, surprising. And was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got is just off, he's got know. thrown off? He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has to get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. And this offense on third down today, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get them off the field with a three. Here comes the Rams punter now. As he's on here to punt it away.
On the return, Dortch. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Murray throwing quickly to Wilson. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. Murray going to throw. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now Murray. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. Seven yards there and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Again, they'll throw with Murray. He's got the connection to Moore. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he is in the Zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a 23-yard run. And the Cardinals have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Prater for the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. A drive that time of six plays, and the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. 66 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. 
You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Play action, Stafford. Now that would complete to Skoranek. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Throwing a Stafford. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again is Stafford. Open man right side is Cup complete. And he'll get nothing out of that one. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes. And they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Here's third and 10. Stafford. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine yard loss. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They snap it to Stafford. Oh, and that is incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They start with a give to Connor. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. To throw is Murray. That's caught inside the 20. 
And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Connor up the middle. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. This to make it a three-score game late. Prater's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that not just important in the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out-personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Stafford. He's going to find Atwell open downfield. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. On first and 10, Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Again, it's Stafford. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. He's still on his feet. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. 
So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner, and I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Prater on to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, C.D. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Stafford here coming off his pick six. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And that is every quarterback's worst nightmare. You had the perfect play call. The seas parted perfectly. You had your guy wide open. He could have run for days, but he overshoots him. And that's one he'll think about for the next month. Second and 10, Stafford again. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Buda Baker, the safety. He gets in from the secondary for the sack. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here comes the Rams punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Let's take it inside his own 40. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Down to Anigos Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but, boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance, 
that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.